film star Steve McQueen is preparing a Le Mans epic for 1970, but as a topic of conversation, Porsche has it. I ask Rico Steinemann how important aerofoils are to the 917. It's very important because the car is basically being designed with it. The general body design is so that the ailerons play a very important part and uh, it was just impossible uh, to fix and we tried it in practice and it was too dangerous uh, you know our, our drivers aren't kamikaze pilots to see the circuit we travel at just on race speed in peter sadler's gt40 right-hander after the pits and up to the Dunlop Bridge. Then it's the S's to Tête Rouge and the Mulsanne Strait. On race day, the fast cars will be handicapped by slower ones, some as much as 100 miles an hour slower. Listen to Vic Alford. Yes, 100 miles an hour is a very big differential and we have to make tremendous allowances for this because if a car starts moving 200 yards in front of us, it's unlikely that we could stop before we hit it. The organisers put barriers virtually all the way around the circuit at, at danger points. They've designed the barriers effectively and it's absolutely superb. It gives the drivers tremendous confidence because in the past, going down Morzahn straight at about 200 miles an hour, you automatically start to think, well, which tree do I hit if I have a puncture? And now that thought just isn't there anymore. What sort of speed are you doing down Morzahn straight? We're approaching up 240 miles an hour. With any other car except the 917, one comes down the straight absolutely flat out. Before the end of the straight, there is a, a very fast right-hand curve, which is taken at about 200 miles an hour, which means that in our case, we must lift off for that corner. We then come to the crest approaching Molzahn Corner, so that as we approach Molzahn Corner, we are still only doing about 200 miles an hour, the same as most other people. And we put the brakes on at about 300 yards because Molzahn Corner is just a 30 mile an hour corner, whichever car you're driving, and we've got to come down from 200 to 30 in about 300 yards. What other problems are there? The sun going down and getting up in the morning in the light uh, for a period of 45 minutes, perhaps even an hour, is very bad and it's very difficult to see. I find the worst time is in the morning normally because uh, firstly you're tired and secondly you've probably got oil on the windscreen. Now we're at Arnage and the beginning of a fairly straight section to White House. White House is a sweeping right and left, then straight on again to the new Ford chicane and past the pits. David York tells me about the qualities the real Le Mans driver needs. The first thing you look for is a driver who will keep it between the curbs. To pick a sports car driver, you've got to have somebody who can drive fast, who has Grand Prix qualities, but also he has to encounter an enormous amount of traffic, and you have this terrific variation in speed. 